Hi, it's Tafs here. Hope you're good. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert your Figma project to WordPress Elementor with a click of a button. I'm just one of those guys that believe that uh, you need to maximize your time as a designer as much as possible. It takes a lot of time to design a project, a website inside of Figma. And after designing that inside of Figma, I just believe that you should be able to export that design to a live website like WordPress. You don't need to start redesigning that again inside of WordPress. It's just crazy. After a while, I found a perfect tool that does this conversion to Elementor for me like magic and I want to show you in this tutorial. So right on my screen here is just Figma community. I just want to pick a random project here. Uh, so if I come down, maybe I should just work with the first one here. Let me open this up. Yeah, so you can see what we have here. Fantastic design here. Let's open this up inside of Figma. Good. So I have this. Uh, so I have this project opened up here and it's fantastic. I think I just want to come to the page that carry the content that I want to use. Okay, good. So you can see we have this design right now here. We have the desktop and the mobile version here. And this is beautiful we can zoom into this to see exactly what we have. So you can see here, you can customize this, do whatever you want to do with it. So I think this is a beautiful design that I can use uh, in this tutorial. Uh, this is good. In your case, I expect you to have your own Figma design. If you don't have, you can also go to the WordPress community and then pick a design like this and customize it, change the text, change the image, just do things around and you know how Figma works, right? So coming to the main part of this tutorial, which is converting this design to WordPress Elementor. So I'll be using a plugin. If I come up here, I come to our plugins here. I can just come to manage plugins. Here I can just search for UI Kemi. And then we would have this plugin here. And we are seeing three results here because UI Kemi work well with Elementor, work well with Gutenberg 2 as well, and then Brick Speeder, all inside of WordPress. So it's not compulsory. You have to lock this up into Elementor. You can choose other page builders like Gutenberg and Bricks, and that makes UI Kemi quite a fantastic, fantastic plugin. But for the purpose of this example, I just want to work with Elementor. So we have the plugin launched here, and the first thing we want to do is to select the frame that we want to export. So I'm going to come here. I just want to work with the desktop version. So I'm going to click the desktop and I should have that here. So now I can scroll down to see exactly what I'm about to import, and which is beautiful, right? So you can see the option here for you to select pages. If you have more than one page, you have the home page, the about page, your contact page, you can select that, those pages here. But I'm just going to work with this page here for this tutorial. And the next thing we want to do here is to either optimize and convert this page. And this is for beginners really or you just want to expressly convert this. I will go with the express convert, but from my experience, I would recommend that you go this optimization route if you know what you're doing. From my experience, I believe that this optimization work best in a perfect condition. In design, sometimes intentionally you do negative margins or padding. Those things are part of the design. Uh, but so this is AI and this AI doesn't understand those things. So you need to be careful when you're optimizing and converting this, uh, else you might ruin your design. So for example, let's just go this route first. Let me just show you, even though I'll come back. So if you run the optimization companion here, you can see a lot of things to tell you to do. It will tell you lock multimedia layout. You might want to do that. So you can see, you can see here there are a lot of things for you to lock. You might just want to fix all or go through them one after the other to see exactly what you should lock and what you shouldn't. Uh, so once you're done with that, you can see some other things here like optimize the quantity of the images and SVGs, uh, detach instances, remove unnecessary groups and frames, convert groups to frames, add frames around direct placed objects, remove negative gaps of frames. So you can see all those things is crazy. You might have set those things up there intentionally for you to have a perfect design. So if you must use the optimization, you must be sure that you know exactly what you're doing and you're optimizing based on the design that you have made. So right now I will just come back here and I'll come back again here. So I'll just run this as express and then I would expressly convert this. So right now this plugin is converting this into Elementor and it's done in just a few seconds. 
And here, if we come down here, we have two options here. Either we download this as a JSON, which we're going to use as a template, or we run this directly to our live website. This is quite fantastic. So let me explore the two options we have here. Let me download this as a JSON file. And then, yes, I just want to select this, uh, the desktop, and then I will download the JSON. Uh, so now I have this export zip here. I can come to my WordPress website where I have Elementor installed. Let's just come to pages here. Let's add a new page and let's edit this page with Elementor. Here, let's just come to template here. Let's upload a template and then let's bring in our export here. Oh, yes, let's continue this. Now we have this template here. So what we're going to do is to insert this into our page. Good. So we have this already imported. And just like that, we have this right now inside of Elementor. This is fantastic. So we can already see that we have some alignment issues here. Ideally, if you know how to use Elementor, you know that this is not the right way to bring in headers and footers. So this is uh, expected here. Ideally, I should take away this and then export this as an header footer. That's if you're using Elementor Pro, and which is quite very, very needful. Uh, but basically, let's just open this up here. Let's see what we have. Apart from some of the alignment issues we have here that we can see, uh, this is a perfect uh, clone so you should expect things like this uh, once a while so you can easily come down here and the beauty is that this is fully responsive and customizable with Elementor so you can click this here change the text as you can see here is a text here you can change the text here you can reduce the size you can align this properly to suit your style and this would save you a lot of work uh, before we continue, I think I should just check how responsive these are on other devices. So as you can see, this is responsive and this is beautiful. So let's switch to mobile to and see if this would respond. So you can see here too as well, this is mobile responsive. And I think this is beautiful. So there are times where you have a perfect clone and sometimes when your designs are very complex, like you can see here in this case here, you might have some alignment issues here and there that you can easily walk around inside of Elementor. And right now, if you click on this, you can see you can change the image here. You can change the image here. And it's that super simple and easy to customize. And this is us working with Elementor Free here plugin. I believe that if we go pro on Elementor, the conversion would be seamless because, again, you have more element to work with inside of Elementor Pro. If you want to work with Elementor, I would always recommend that you go pro with Elementor. You can never go wrong going pro with Elementor. If you're thinking of investing in Elementor Pro, you can check the video description for you to see a link for you to buy Elementor Pro through my link. I will appreciate the support you can give to me. So you can go ahead and publish this page if you must. So this page is live here, but I think what we should have done again is to come to page settings here and come down here for a page layout. We want to make this either Elementor full width or Elementor canvas, but I think I should make it Elementor canvas. So good. So now we can just easily publish our page. Ray, our page is ready here. So right now we can just easily just view this page. Oh, we can see here we have an amazing design here. Super simple. Uh, you can see the alignment issues here are even gone. This is close to a perfect clone. So you can see here just a little bit of alignment issues here and there. And so I believe that uh, the alignment issues you have here are things you can easily sort yourself out inside of Elementor. So right now, let's come back to a Figma project. So here, like I told you, we have two options. We have work with downloading the JSON. We can go to the next one, which is importing this live. So we have to select a site here so that we can bring it directly from Figma to a live website. Uh, so now if you come down here, we need to select the site. So we don't have any here yet. So let's add a site. So we need to put in the URL and the token to connect the site. So let me show you how to get that. So let's come back to our website here. Maybe I should just come from here. I should just come. First of all, let's go to plugins. Let's add a plugin that will help us do that. Let's come to add new. And then we can just search for UI Chem. We'll have this plugin here, UI Chem Figma to WordPress, Gutenberg, Elementor, and Bricks. So let's install this. And let's activate this plugin.
you can just come to settings here or come to UI Kemi here and come to settings here. Either way, it's fine. So now I'm going to select the page builder we are using Elementor in our case here. So let's go to next here uh, to ask you to register UI Kemi, all those kind of stuff. So let's go next here. Uh, you can just go next and you can just keep this, but these are the procedures for you getting everything you want to get because basically what we want to get is the URL and the token. Uh, so now let's go next here. Elementor is installed, but we need to activate Flexbox here. Let's activate it if that is not activated. So this is done here. So let's go next and this is done. Let's hit the finish button. So right now, this is my URL here and this is my token here. This is happening because I have registered UI Kemi here before. So uh, UI Kemi is able to pick up my token. So you just need to go to uikemi.com and create a free account. You will need to do that if you're using UI Kemi on Figma for the very first time. You need to get a token so it will redirect you to the site for you to create an account. So if you are getting here in the first place, you must have an account to UI Kemi already. So right now this is my URL here. So I'll copy this and then I'll bring that here. Oh, here right and then let's come back again let's copy our token and then let's come back here and let's paste our token here so we can connect uh, our website now with UI Kemi here uh, Figma and that's it so our site is uh, selected here it's okay for us to go and then we have our desktop here we can click this here. So what do we want to do? We want to export this to a new page or to an existing page. But let's select a new page in this case. And we want to select this to a page. Selecting this here, we have options here to export this to a page here or to Elementor template. We have worked with template with JSON. Now let's work with the page here and let's go next. And then let's hit the import all. And that's everything we need to do. This design would be import to a page. And this is done here right now. So we can just open this link up here to see that page. So you can see we have the page here because we didn't set this to Elementor Canvas. We still have the header and the footer as well. But you get the idea. This is super, super, super cool. Right? This is amazing. So now the question is, is UIKMI free for you to use? Is it paid? It's a freemium plugin. So you can check more about them on their website. I will leave a link to UIKMI in the video description. Also, it's an affiliate link. And if you come down here, you will see a lot about them and everything you can do with them. We've talked so much about uh, them here. So you can see them, Elementor, Figma to Elementor, Converter, and all those things. But basically, I don't want to waste your time here. Let's just come to pricing and let's see what their pricing is like. So at your pricing here, if you come down here, you will see that you are able to use this literally for free. But you can see you can just do 10 exports per month. And then one user, 10 star templates, you can have basic support, free tagging, export directly to WordPress. But what you will not have here is a responsive manager. It means that this website would not be responsive across devices. And I think that's no, no, no. You don't want to have a website that is not responsive. And that's the reason why I would always recommend that you think about your yeah, pro. Uh, $19 per month, you are able to use this for 100 exports per month and 50 pro templates here. Uh, if you check their website here, you'll see that they also have templates. If you come to templates here, come to the template library, you see that they have lots of designs that you can easily jump on and you can use them to build your own website. You can see it here, fantastic. Uh, so right now, if you come back to the pricing, so depending on your post, you can go pro or you can go all access. You can see what it costs here for you to invest in it. I believe this tool would help you a great deal. It will improve your workflow, bringing your Figma project into WordPress Elementor just with a click of a button. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues around this or you have other further tutorials you want me to do around this, let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. And that's my time for this tutorial. I will see you in another one. And until then, stay safe.